Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce and I hope you are good and doing well. This is Rohit and today I'm going to discuss about form factor using flow and this is a good feature so you have to work on it. So suppose based on the form factor you can do your further operation based on the client devices. Okay, so if you are new in this channel so you can subscribe the channel also you can turn on the bell icon for more update so you never will miss any kind of update from my side. So let's get started without any further delay. So first of all, you have to do one thing. This is the prerequisite. I will post this link into the description section or comment section based on your requirement from here and click on this create and create the flow. So the purpose of this video is like based on the client devices, we can do further operation. Let's say mobile, tablet or desktop. So these are all client devices. So based on the client devices, we can do these further operations. So let me select this, start from scratch, click on the next, select the screen flow, create. And once you select the screen flow here, just click on this plus icon, add the action. Under the action, I already have this action, that is GAD browser information. So this one, you can give any name as you want for the level, let's say GAD client info okay so now you can see the action now we have like android form factor something like that so this is all inputs okay and here you can see the advanced option so once you clicked on the advanced option you can see this all android form factor ios ipad iphone phone tablet windows phone okay same thing here you can see so let me add one screen here let's say this one that is form factor on factor screen so once you created this screen now you have to do one thing just search display text add it here and that is the result once you added this result now for now just click on done we have this one right this is action let me edit this one and now you can see the form factor like form factor okay so here you can enable disable based on your requirement like this okay so just come down here in the screen click in display text in the here you can see the action right we already have like action get info or something like that so do one thing so now you have to do one thing under the screen one this is the final screen under this final screen just click on display text under the insert you can see the output from the get client one just click on this one now you can see the form factor just select this and you can make it like bold or center based on your requirement so let me select this one, make it as a ball. You can increase the size of the text. So just like this, click done, save this one. And once you save this, now let me debug this flow. So once you debug it, now you can check each and everything here. Let me click on run. Now you can see immediately my device is desktop. Right now I'm using desktop. That's why you can see the desktop, right? So let's say I want to make it like a how to debug it based on the devices so one thing you can directly debug like this or let me do one thing here let me add or just again let me debug it again and now here just click on run okay so make it like uh, inspect here okay so you can see the devices here like lots of devices right so once you click on this icon, you can see the, uh, lots of devices. Let me refresh it and now let's see which device is right now. So let me refresh, click on run. And now this time you can see the phone. So this is the phone here. Okay, make it as a uh, long one. And uh, let me refresh again and let's see uh, this time what will the uh, devices. So let me click on this run, it's still is in phone. You can change the devices as well here. Let's say iPad or something like that here like uh, iPhone 12 Pro or let me refresh this and now this is the you know devices so based on devices it's showing here still you can see the phone let me change the uh, iPad something like that if any device is available for iPad let's say Pro Max or iPad Pro okay so let me refresh this and now let's see the device is coming as a air higher tablet or not so it's a desktop okay uh, you can refresh it now here just click on the run 
it's still desktop okay let me refresh it you will we see the tablet definitely now you can see the tablet right so based on the devices it's a very smart uh, component to identify client uh, you know device so it can be desktop it can be laptop desktop mobile or tablet so i already shown you this one like how to debug it just click on debug and make it like inspect or element like that and click on this icon and you can debug your flow let me try to again this debug things okay so let me close this one let me refresh this and now this time you will be see directly as a desktop so now you can see the desktop my device is desktop let me change this view to tablet something like that okay so let me refresh again and let me debug this flow so let me click on this run no this time you can see the tablet let me change these devices to tablet to or something anything let's say related to the phone so it's a kind of iphone or iphone 14 pro max so let me refresh this and now this time you will be see the device as a phone so just click on this one now you can see immediately phone here you can see the phone so i already discussed about the form factor about desktop tablet and phone so guys i hope you learned something in this video if you feel like this is the very more informative for us and also you can subscribe the channel also you can turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never miss any kind of update from my side and please guys support me thank you thank you so much see you again bye bye